Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your solar panel for your solar generator so that you get the most amount of power you can out of this solar panel. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do, of course, is uh, get out your cord for it. Now, this Suwaki right here comes with a cord with their special connector for the unit. It also comes with a bunch of other adapters that you can use, as well as a cord for charging up like your car battery. But this is the cord we're worried about today. So get out our cord here, open up your panel. Oh yeah. All right, let's go ahead and we'll plug it in here. So you might think, hey, this is good enough, right? It is in full sun, there's no shadow on it, but it's not making as much power as it could. This is a 100 watt panel. Check out how much it's making right now. 48 watts, all right? 48 watts going into this bad boy. No shadow, no nothing. It looks like it ought to be good, right? But it's not because it's not optimized. How can we, how can we make it better? Right back here on the back of the panel, you see we've got these little kickstands. Put a kickstand out, put a kickstand out. There we go, that's looking good, right? That looks pretty good. But how much power are we actually generating? 92 watts, right? It looks good, there's no shadows on it. But is that the best we can do? Let's find out. Let me show you how to optimize these panels to get the most that you can get out of them. If you guys wanna check either one of these two things out, there are links down in the description. All right, so we've got it set up and it, it does look pretty good, right? But we're gonna use this can and I'll show you how to do that. Set your can on there. Oh yeah, okay. Look at that. So see this big shadow right over here, like right there? That big shadow means that the solar panel is not pointed directly at the sun. Even though it looks like it is, it's actually not. Let's check this side over here. Same kind of thing. We've got a really big shadow right up here. So let's try and remove that shadow by adjusting the panels and then we'll see how much power we can make. So the way you do that is set it on here and then start moving the panel until the shadow disappears, okay? We're gonna have to tilt these things way up here like that, right there. But the problem is the kickstand's floating out in the air. So we're gonna have to get something to put underneath it to help it stand, stand up as far as we need it. All right, so now we recheck. Adjust it a little bit to the right or left if it needs to. Do the other side. Check it. Pretty good. Could be just a little bit better though. Ooh, there we go. How about this side? Oh yeah. This right here is what we're looking for. No shadow around the can. Check this side. Ooh, man, that side's like perfect. Look at that. When you have no shadow being cast on the panel, then you are perfectly aligned for the sun. Let's see how much power we're making. 98 watts. So if you want to optimize it, you need to make sure and check and see if there's a shadow being cast by a block of wood or a can or a Coke can or something like that on the front of it. That'll get you the best results for what you're trying to do. If you want to see more about what's going on here on our homestead, there is a video right over there. You can go ahead and check out. Otherwise, I hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling and I'll see you over in that video in just a second.